Hey, this is Lisa from Minute Sheet. I am just popping in to say I have had YouTube drama. We had a whole different video planned for today. And sure enough, no matter what I did, I could not get that thing to upload. It just, it just wasn't happening. I went through all the little procedures you can go through to try to fix your video situations. I uploaded, I don't know how many times, never got the whole video out of iMovie. I um, updated my iMovie, updated my computer's operating system, rebooted, rebooted in safe mode, the whole shebang. No luck. So I just was like, all right, this is not going to work out. Vlogmas is going to be something else today. So here I am, just telling you what occurred. If you would like to get a peek at what we had planned for you, we had planned to do a recipe for sorrel punch. It's a really delicious Caribbean punch. We are Panamanian, and that's something we have at Christmas. Typically, I don't make it, though. It's something that the older folks in my family make, but I know what it's supposed to taste like, so I said, you know what? I'm going to give it a try. I did look at some recipes because I, when I have learned some of our traditional recipes, I've learned for like big, big amounts of it. Like when we make a fruitcake, we don't make a fruitcake. If we're making fruitcake, you start two months before December, three if you're really on your game, and <laughs> you make 30 of them, 25 of them. Because you eat fruitcake and share fruitcake all through the season, up through New Year's. So my sorrel punch, I did take a look at some recipes because every group, you know, every ethnic group around the Caribbean has their own recipe. And I wanted to, like I said, create something that tastes like what I'm used to tasting like. So I used some of the recipes for proportions, but I created my own spice mix because it's also a spice punch. So there's all spice and cinnamon and cloves, ginger. Now, we did do a blog post about it, so you can take a look at our blog and get the actual recipe and get instructions for making your own. It came out delicious. I was so happy. My secret ingredient, though, was a dash of vanilla. It made everything really, really smooth. <laughs> really smooth. So what oh, am I up to today? Today, I actually have some work to do uh, on the sale that we're going to be doing this week. Well, for the next few days, um, I have some packages to mail out. So I'm going to be kind of busy doing that kind of stuff today. I spent way too much of the morning um, trying to get this video to upload. So I just decided, okay, I'm going to do another video so that we have a vlog up for every day during Vlogmas. And I think, and I, like I said, I was struggling with that video so much yesterday. I never got in any knitting and now it's getting to be crunch time on my Christmas sweater. So I will be spending a bit of time this afternoon working on my sweater. So I think that's it for Vlogmas today. I'm just going to go with the something is better than nothing principle. And thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.